Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your end of May general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope everyone is doing well. Also, I would like to thank everyone who sent me and my family condolences um, for our loss recently this past Friday. So I really appreciate it. None of your comments went unnoticed. I'm very grateful and very humble for you all's concern and care. I really appreciate you all from the bottom to the top of my heart. Thank you so much. Um, so let's jump into your reading. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Without Us by Johnny Mathis. I forget the young lady's name who sang with him. But again, I always leave the songs in the description box below so you could click the link and listen to it following the reading. And then right before I started you guys reading, I kept hearing Wake Up Love by Tiana Taylor over and over and over again. I'll leave that song in the description box for you guys to listen to after reading. Also, now, with the Without Love song, that is the theme song to the show Family Ties. You know, that's that um, TV series back in the day with Robin Dix, um, Robin, Robin Dix, Robin Thix, um, Allen. Okay. His father's name was Allen, I believe. Robin Thicke's, um father. Um in that show, you know, it was, it's all about union and family and working through family issues and things like that. And it's so interesting. You guys know there are 79 cards in this deck, right? I shuffle up upright multiple times before I started you guys reading. And I kept getting the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is literally a card of family, you know, in union and, you know, having emotional bonds because cups is water, emotions, feelings, things like that. And I feel like what I'm getting with this is that in the middle of this couple, there's a baby. So it doesn't have to be that there's a baby involved, but I do feel like for some of you guys that's involved in a child, there could be involving children. This is someone that you have family with because the hook of the song is, what will, we, what will we do, baby, without us? And it's like, there could have been some type of separation and there's some energy of reconciliation in the midst, or, you know, there could be thoughts of separating, but then the two people may come back together and say, you know, how, how are we going to run this family without us together under the same roof? I feel like there's a lot of decisions needing to be made about um the future of a relationship, the future, the future of a family in general is what I'm getting because I strongly, again, the name of the show is Family Ties. And I feel like the family is what's tying this union or bringing this reconciliation into fruition because it's, it's something with the family where both parties decide it would be better that everyone stays together under the same roof cohesively um, as a unit. You know, I'm going to be honest. I'm also seeing that somebody is doing it for a united front as well. But there's some um, unhappiness in some of this portions of the situation. But I really strongly feel like for the sake of the family, there's going to be a union or coming back together, especially for those of you who are separated. Now, keep in mind, May 29th, we will be going. It's the first day of Mercury retrograde. And for those of you who don't understand retrograde, specifically Mercury, okay, it brings people back from your past. It brings situations that are not completely resolved back to the surface so that they can be dealt with. So if you just recently, and I'm also hearing eight, okay, eight months ago, you could have been separated from this person for eight months. You could have an eight year older. Somebody has twins, I'm also seeing. And then also, you know, you could have been with this person for going on eight years or eight years that this has been, you know, a relationship. Also eight, I, I keep seeing this and I've been seeing this in all the readings today. Eight sideways is the infinity symbol. So some of you guys are, you know, when you literally took vows, especially if you were married to this person, you said, you know, till death do us part. Somebody is really taking that to heart and they're saying like, I don't want this to end because we made these vows. We took these vows. So let's stick by it no matter what. I'm getting a message also for you guys, Virgo. Okay. In your pre-shuffle, you had very strong Virgo energy like yourself. You had Gemini. You also had Pisces. Um, a lot of fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, and water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and that's just in your overlying energy. So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to power up the deck, change the card at the top and the bottom. We'll do the same with your clarifying deck, and then we're going to jump into your reading. And I want to also tell you, you guys know I always have a candle lit, right, as I'm doing my reading. And right before I turned the candle on, I mean, I'm the reading... The candle went out. So I feel like for someone, the passion in the relationship has like kind of dwindled and died out for the for someone. Someone has lost, um, I'm hearing someone has lost physical attraction because actually the crystals in this organite is um for the sacral. And the sacral is the sexual organs. And I, I'm just realizing that also. 
So those are, um, what do you call it? Carnelian, carnelian crystals, orange carnelian. So also someone, ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm also hearing that someone could have some type of sexual dysfunction, like um, erectile dysfunction or something like that. And that, oh, okay. And that could be an issue. That could be why the relationship is dying out because it's something sexually that's going on. And I, I didn't do this in any other readings today. So I, I do pick up that that is an energy that needs to be put out there. So that could be an issue in a relationship. And someone's like, okay, initially they felt like they couldn't work with it. But now they're for you too, maybe trying to find or work out some way to work with that situation is what I'm getting. And then also someone could be having a very high libido and then their partner is not matching them is what I'm getting. Okay. So now at the bottom of the deck, you have, yeah, absolutely. You have a page of pentacles. This is a messenger page. Uh, pentacles is always messengers. I feel like some type of message came in about this relationship during Taurus season, which we literally are just leaving out of. Okay. Also, this person could be a earth sign. I did pick up strong Virgo. Also, like, you know, Virgo like yourself, but also Taurus and Capricorn. Um, I also feel like um, somebody's coming in with some type of communication. This person could be a little bit younger than you. You can have a child, and now I'm, I'm also picking up that you can have an earth sign child towards Virgo Capricorn, who is a teenager, and this person is coming back communicating that they don't want this family union to separate. I feel like this, this, this a child could be telling you how this separation or this um, this rapport is affecting them. Because if you notice it, the child is right up under the threshold, right in the doorway of the home or wherever this location is, and it's like this person is... I'm getting a teenager for some of you all like this person is almost out of your home, you know, at the age where they're going away to school and things like that. Also, if you've separated, because I'm getting this also, also, if you've separated, oh, you, some of you guys, this child is very intelligent. I'm I'm looking at this little hat thing and it's making me think of a scholar. Do you guys see what's poking up right here? Did I not say sideways eight? infinity symbol? Somebody is taking there and, and they just wanted to peek out. Somebody's taking their vows very strongly. And also, this is your energy, okay? Virgo, also Gemini. Somebody's trying to manifest this union back. I feel like a child is helping manifest the situation back. Strongly a teenager or a preteen, right? But I also feel like this child is very intelligent. And I also feel like if you two decided to separate and you two are having um, visitation rights or, you know, co-parenting, this child is coming in and communicating that they don't want to either a be with one parent they'd rather be with the other or they're also communicating that they don't like having to be in and out because this child is not out or in it's right in between this doorway so this child feels like they're stuck in the middle or you are seeing that this child is being stuck in the middle of this situation yeah i'm getting a strong family vibe here most definitely. Okay. So we're going to part the deck and shuffle up right three times until we get to your major arcana, which would be the hermit for you guys. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Okay. And I see this card wants to show up. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's been... Jo Ooh. Okay, these were back to back too. And it, it, this card will be facing this way, but this wants to show itself. Somebody was juggling. Somebody could have accused you of juggling or you possibly were. Or if you were dealing with a earth sign like yourself or a fire sign... Somebody was juggling. You got two of pentacles and you have the knight of wands, playboy, playgirl. Okay, this is definitely somebody juggling. So somebody could have felt like somebody stepped out. Especially, I'm going to tell you if it's a sexual thing because I'm noticing how this wand is standing up erect. Somebody, it, it could have been because of some type of sexual situation. Mm -hmm. Somebody possibly was stepping out. Let's see what we get for you guys today, Virgo. Yeah, ooh, I can't make this up. Somebody was stepping out. Strong sexual energy right here, okay? Also, aces are gifts from the universe and also something brand new, starting a very passionate new beginning. Somebody could be coming in talking about that. They could have came in during tour season. You see how he's looking right in the direction of Ace of Wands and saying they want a brand new start because this is a brand new start and it's very passionate, okay? I feel like somebody possibly did step out and it was just sexual. There was no emotional attachments to this third party or outside situation. I just feel like, yeah, yeah. You got the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. Now here's the thing. One, two, three pentacles. I'm not pentacles and I'm saying pentacles. So some of you guys, I feel like it's you who may have been cheated on or you may have stepped out. But one, two, three, Lily pass right here. You see how she's looking down? She does, if you really look at her expression, it looks like she's contemplative. She may not be too happy. She's really thinking about something. But if you look in her hand, she has a flower that's already bloomed and blossomed. And that is it's like somebody who's open to a brand new start. 
A king or a queen is always partners. This is someone that you have a history with. This is not a page. This is not a knight, okay? This is someone who ha you have a stable commitment with. So also, again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. But more than anything, this is something emotional. Somebody's emotions are tied in this situation. This is also a mother. So I feel like, again, I'm going to say for some of you guys, this is definitely someone that you have children with. Male or female, you would know how to supply this situation. Okay? So let's go through the deck here. <laughs> you got the king and the queen right here. There are different elements. But again, I'm going to say there's a partnership. And then right behind that, you have the temperance card. Someone patiently waiting. Wow. And working together. Now, here's what's interesting. You literally have water here and you have fire here. And then you have water here and fire here and coming out of it is earth. Again, remember we just had that page of pentacles. Some, there could be an earth sign child who's caught in between these two energies. Now, even though you are Virgo, again, your um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus could be water or fire. Again, Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Aries, strong Leo right here. And then you have Sagittarius right here. Okay. So let's go through the deck here. Yeah. It's a brand new start. A lot of Leo energy here. We'll go through the deck and then we'll get the Hermit, the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And I'm hearing a theme song again for, um, I'm hearing Without Us, Johnny Mathis. So somebody's going to try to work this out, or both parties are going to try to work this out for the sake of the family. And this is something you have history with. Because you see I'm halfway through the deck and we don't have your card yet. So this is definitely a family unit that has history, okay? And look at where I stopped at at the very front. Ace of Cups, a brand new emotional start, okay? So you have your card here. You go with that magician again. Wow. Yep. Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, feeling overwhelmed, um, dark night of soul. Some type of information is coming through because you have an owl right here. Owls talk about hidden wisdom, knowledge coming in and it's flying right towards her. Someone fears that there's an ending, but I feel like somebody is manifesting something. Wow, something new. Right behind it, you got the Ten of Pentacles. And remember I was saying with her, right? You see how right up on her, she has this one, two, three lily pad type of things. And then going right up the walkway is one, two, three pentacles going towards the home, the driveway. I really strongly feel like, yeah, look at that right up under her, temptation, pentacles. So a third party could be an earth sign also. You have Capricorn right here with the devil. And then look what's right behind her. Wow. So you have the queen of cups and then you have the king of cups and right in between this, look at that. You or your partner, both of you guys have strong water sign placements in your chart or something that would be going down during cancer season is what I'm getting. But <clears throat> just going to move these over here. I'm really strongly getting from this that, you know, somebody wants an emotional reconnection. There's going to be long-term stability, but I feel like, okay... <clears throat> If not, if you and your partner don't have water, the third party could be a water sign or, like I said, a Capricorn because I did pick up fellow Earth sign with that page of pentacles. Somebody's attached to more than one person. Okay, you see how they're bound to the devil? This is um, attachment, also karmic relationships, deception. I'm hearing very strong karma. Ooh, somebody could be dealing with someone very controlling. As many times as I look at this card, I'm really being drawn to those eyes. Like, look at how intense those eyes is. Somebody's controlling is what I'm getting. Okay. So you have the nine of swords and then you have the magician. Somebody, you see how, and I feel like this is you. Okay. You see how he's looking right at the nine of swords. Someone is having sleepless nights. Possibly because they found out about some deception because a magician is a weaver. This person can manifest things to seem and appear the way they want it to be. You could have found out about, yeah, because that's knowledge. You could have found out about some type of deception, somebody's shadow self. Even though this is a doorway, if you really look at it, it looks like a shadow behind him. So somebody could have seen a different part or a different side of this individual than what was initially shown. Definitely could be dealing with a Gemini because you do have Gemini right here. That's Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and then this is Gemini and Virgo like yourself. So let's see what we get for you guys today. It's going to clarify for the Nine of Swords and the Magician. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Five. Wow. Five of Cups. Again, I'm going to say there could have been a third party. You got a couple right here because you got the Two of Cups and then one, two, three. Just like I was saying about this, you know, this Queen of Pentacles. I mean, I'm sorry, this Queen of Cups. And I'm saying Pentacles because I'm looking at this. You got that three going up the driveway. And then she has three, three um, lily pads right here. And then he's looking down at this three cups. And we are looking at five women on V. That's five. So you could have found out about this in May. Okay. Definitely could be involved in a water sign. Because remember, we had the king and the queen of cups in the pre-shuffle. wanted to show itself. So it could definitely be involving a water sign. 
somebody found out about some cheating. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like I said, this is knowledge coming in, some information coming in about some type of deception. And remember I said somebody could have been with someone for eight plus years. It could possibly have been going on nine. It could be going on nine years during Gemini season or Cancer season because Cancer season is right after Gemini. That's part of the deck. Seven, absolutely, yeah. Seven of Cups, someone is entertaining. They were keeping their options open. Excuse me, I felt like I was going to sneeze. <laughs> so you have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely a water sign involved in this situation for somebody, okay? And again, I'm going to say I feel like there was a third party, okay? Because you literally have a snake right here, and then you have this purse. There's somebody who's visible but not really visible, like somebody who may have felt like someone was treating them like they were invisible. And then you clearly have a human figure up under here, but you don't know what this person looks like. So this is someone who's unknown or hidden. And someone was keeping their options open, being deceptive. And also with this water energy, and you have seven right here, this could be a July Cancer who's involved in the situation as well. You got a lot of Cancer energy for sure. Just seeing the death card, there was definitely an ending for someone. Somebody's going to try to come back in though. You know, the Five of Cups in reverse, coming out of sadness, sorrow, and grief. Prince of Princess shining armor coming in on their chariot. And if I say chariot, that's cancer. And I was just guided to say that. Tower. Wow, I'm just saying the tower card. Yep. Could definitely be involved in a Gemini, or it could be happening during Gemini season, okay? Because you have the lovers card, this major arcana kind of for Gemini. You could be at a distance from this person. You see how their hands are barely touching. There's a mountain or a hill in the background, which denotes some type of challenges or hurdles that needs to be gotten over. Um, also, the Two of Wands talks about needing to choose a direction to go in. Somebody's not choosing a direction. I know that because the Lovers also talks about needing to make a decision, needing to make a choice. And you see how he's in reverse. In reverse, he's looking in a direction of the Lovers card. Again, I feel like during Gemini season, a lot of things are getting ready to go down because that's Gemini also. Some Something's going down, and that's Major Arcana. Anytime you get Major Arcana, that's definite energy. So something's going down during um Gemini season for a lot of you guys. Two major arcanas back to back. You got Leo here. You got Gemini here. But also with the sun, on um, the opposite of the sun is the moon. Okay? So there could be some secrets. And the sun card is the most positive and happiest card in the whole entire deck of tarot. Right now, somebody is not happy because a decision. Yeah. So remember I was saying a song. Without us, their hands are not touching. It's something coming in between them. Something has come in between a union. And that's what turned this, you know, this connection upside down. And, um... Somebody's not very, I think a lot of people are not happy in this situation. The third party isn't happy because if you no, notice, there's a baby right here which talks about something new, some type of new outside interference, and it's right by a one, two, three flowers. You're keeping this three energy. So there's definitely a third party. And I keep feeling like I have to sneeze. You know how they say sneeze is like some type of wish or some type of message or something like that. Oh, okay. So, oh, wow. And I'm hearing, I literally just heard like this happen right up under somebody's nose. You notice how she has this um cup right up under her nose. Yeah, this happened right up under someone's nose is what I'm hearing. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the Nine of Swords for Vir Virgo. Someone rising Venus. Yeah, this happened right up under somebody's nose, which means this could have been somebody close to you all. A mutual friend. Okay, I just seen the card flip up. There we go. Okay, so you got the Ace of Cups in reverse, okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody's fearing that there can't be a reconciliation or coming back together, okay? And you, like I said, you got a lot of cups, a lot of watery energy. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Or during cancer season, someone could be declining a reconciliation. Because Ace is, again, it's a brand new start, a new start of something, okay? You or your love interest is first, middle, or last initials could be W M. T, J, C, U, or G, okay? Also, the next time you can communicate with this person, if you have not been communicating with them, it could be on a Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or Thursday, or a month from now. Yeah, towards the end of June. Again, you have a lot of cancer energy right here, so June. Bottom of the deck, four of pentacles. Wow, somebody's, I feel like somebody's, Feeling like they want to let this go. Because Four of Pentacles literally is the holding on for dear life card for me. And it's a king right here. And he's outside of his castle. So somebody, it seems like somebody definitely left the home life. Let's see what's sticking up right here. 
Yeah, because of some deception. And there's that seven energy again. And remember I said something about seven before July. That's also cancer season. Um, you got the seven of swords, liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver, deceptor. Could be a May Gemini or again, I'm going to say during May. You could have found out about something and I'm saying maybe because out of the seven swords, he's holding five. So let's get a clarifier for the magician. I always tell you guys to make sure you watch the shuffles because I am definitely shuffling thoroughly. Let's get a clarifier for the magician for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Ooh, that flipped out quick. Again, see? And I just said seven and then you got the seven of uh, cups. So some of you all could definitely be dealing with a July Cancer. And I feel like you found out about some damn deception. Also, the seven of cups is is confusion, illusion, you know, um, indecisiveness. Somebody's trying to manifest this union back and someone's not sure whether or not they want to. And also, I'm going to say again with the magician, this is someone who is being manipulative, a bit of a snake, doing something right up under your nose, okay? And I feel like you guys are finding out about it or you did find out about it. Some of you guys are finding out during Gemini season because, again, Swords is Gemini. And for others, you already found out. And you may be declining a reconciliation, but I feel like more than anything, somebody's trying to manifest something back because of a family unit. I know it's because of a family unit because you have that king and that queen here, right? And then you got the ten of pentacles that came up in a pre-shuffle, and that's talking about the home life, um, stability within the home life, long-term commitment, solid foundations, everyone living under the same roof. That's that's the main thing for someone. Wow. And then right, I'll have to show you guys this on the table, how the cards are. And I just looked at it right up under there. You have five of pentacles, someone being left out in the cold, someone being put out of the home, or someone moving out of the home. Someone's scared also possibly because they feel like financially they're going to struggle if they leave this relationship. Somebody's definitely trying to manifest this union back, but it may not be with the best intentions. Like I said, possibly because of finances is what I'm getting. I do feel like somebody's going to come back around during um, Mercury Retrograde. Again, that starts May 29th. Okay? So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Wow, just as I looked at the time, it says 2222. Yeah, this message is on point for a lot of people, okay? So, again, <laughs> uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.